Hello. Fair shakes is that I'm not the POM or the pretend POM living in Australia that you think I'm meant to be. But I have brought them with me. Fucking hell. Oh my god, why <laughs> why are we here? Whose idea was this? It well, was yours. Um, well, actually it wasn't mine, it was Thrash's idea, and I think he did it after seven pints of whiskey. You know, casual English things after, you know, watching Australia beat the crap out of them. A typical Sunday. Oh, wow. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. All right. Let's just rewind very slightly. The cricket insults can wait until we get this right. Why are we actually here? Or more accurately, why are you on my channel? Well, you see, we had this idea. Well, you had this idea, and I thought it was a great idea, where in a lead up to Christmas, we would make our communities build things for us and paint things for us, like very... Ah, uh, well, fuck words. Um, like the nerds we all are. Upset them. Yes, like <laughs> the nerds we all are. I can't say that because that will upset someone with finer taste. <laughs> Let's face it. You, me, Rex, and everybody that listens and watches us are joined flipping nerds. So, you know, let's get nerds. next to that and lean into it. Yes, do yes, it. Yes, we are horrific nerds. Wear it like a badge of pride. Absolutely right. Yeah. Absolutely right. Because you know what? Girls or boys or whatever your persuasion is, they like nerds. Because, well, as long as you don't talk to them about Warhammer for five hours, they'll usually pay some attention to you. Sometimes. No, that's when the that's when you get the uh that's when you get the Horus Heresy audiobook. Yeah, oh. read that at a first date, see what happens. <laughs> yeah, <especially laughs> Uh, I'm just going to point out that uh, no one ever successfully pulled on their first date by talking about Warhammer 40k. It didn't happen. No, that's and a lie. It... it always happens. Ignore him. Try it. See what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Look, uh, as a happily married man of many years, I don't think it's fair to give people that kind of crippling start. Do not start with this. I can give you better advice if you message me. <laughs> yeah, message him at jenkinsdatingadvice.tinder.com.uk. <laughs> <laughs> I can't absolutely guarantee that that's not Jenkins' dating profile, but look, move on. Okay, why are we here? But, okay, so we've had this idea in the next couple months uh, before the big fat man with the red coat and the white beard or blue coat, depending on your persuasion, arrives, that we will decide to run a little modeling competition for those of us who like to, you know, huff plastic fumes and glue and paint and, you know, all kinds of fun stuff. Well, until Christmas, so... The winners will get a mug with our lovely logos on them. You will see it on screen now. Uh, Ooh, no, to that mug. actually remember to put it on the screen. Look at that. It mm. is beautiful. <laughs> it I holds can, my shining visage. I can drink so much eggnog out of that. Not that I would. <laughs> yeah. There's even another Spitfire on it. There's two Spitfires if you count your logo. Imposter. <laughs> And there's a T-34 as well, you know, for those who are obsessed with Soviet models. I'm sorry, I just couldn't get a Sherman in that kind of PNG for free. But, you know, it is what it is. But okay. there are categories. Okay, so wait, wait, hang on. Just rewind very slightly. So this is a, are you going to build a model? And yes. uh, it's got to be done between now and the 10th of December, I think we said. So yes. that we get a chance to judge it in time for Christmas. Um, yes. But you have to start it now. This can't be something you've built beforehand, right? Yes. So when you submit your photo of the model to the email address on the screen now in the description and in the pinned comments of all three videos, you have to send a photo of the sprue in the bag or in the box unbuilt. And yeah. I want some something to basically say it's this date. So, you know, get a piece of paper and write the date of when you started, put it in the photo, send it in with the model. That way we can see you've started it and you built it between the effectively the second of October when we all put this out and through to um, the 10th of December. So it's got to be between those days. And when we say the 10th of December, midnight, 10th of December, UK time, that way you've still got time in Australia and the world and it's all sort of works out to well. So 10th, so midnight, GMT, UK time on the 10th. That's your last chance to submit. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, cool. That's really clear. Brilliant. Yeah. So what can people build? Well, what can they build? Well, there's three categories here because we recognize that not all two model makers are the same. We are all sad sacks when it comes to model making. We all have our own little niches. Unless you're me and you've spent too much money on all kinds of models. But you've got vehicles. Number one, there will be a category for vehicles. Now, this includes tanks, ships, planes, cars. If you want to build an F1 car, go for it. If you want to build a 
17th century pirate galleon, go for it, it's in this category. If you want to build a battleship, it's in this category. Whatever kind of vehicle you can think of and you can build, that's, you know, semi-historical or planned or, you know, civilian -y, go for it. Vehicles category, that's you, that's your mark. List the category you're entering, by the way, when you send your email in, just to help, or we'll assign it ourselves. That's category one. Category two is minifigures. Now, Rex, would you like to explain what a minifigure is? A small person. Yes. <laughs> No, would you would you like a more would you like a more detailed explanation than that? <laughs> Maybe a tiny yes, bit. Yes, yes, but just a smidge. Is this the time where I say that I've never made a minifigure in my life? I've only ever done model vehicles. Okay, <laughs> all right. So, okay, don't worry about it. So, so if you were a deeply afflicted individual, you probably at some point in your life, for example, enjoyed Warhammer 40k, which we've talked about before, uh, or possibly even army figures um if it's a miniature and it's a miniature it, let's say if it's a miniature on the packet jobs are fucking good right um but a miniature this is what falls in this category typically people it could also be i will point out a dreadnought that's also fine or if you feel insane and you want to try and do it build a titan feel free to do that too yes. um but it's a miniature uh, I suppose, actually, no, technically Titan's a vehicle, isn't it? Yeah, I would say a Titan falls under the category of vehicle, honestly. Okay. Fine, all right, so yeah. miniatures typically human beings yeah. or small creatures. I would include go. a Dreadnought in mini miniatures as well. I it's think a Dreadnought falls in this category, it's not strictly speaking a vehicle, because what's in it is dead. Now, also because it's technically a, a, a figurine, uh, I've written that Gundam counts in this as well for our anime-afflicted followers out there. And I hope you recover, but I understand that it is a hard addiction to pass. No, I, I think that if, if we accept Dreadnought, we do need to accept Gundams and mobile combat battle yes. suits and stuff. I agree. I think that's a good distinction to make. So and I will me... smile and nod and go, I have no idea what the hell that is, but fine, yes, yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> I, I don't know either. I'm going to, like, if we get Gundams, I'm just going to, like, grab a weeb that I know by the neck and say, explain what this is. I'm now going to, I am now going to paint one of my Gundams out of spite and send it to you <laughs> in, like, a little glass box. Of course you would. Please go. <laughs> please, please, God. Please, have mercy, Rex. No. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> We would, we would yeah, like to point that we will we will consider all uh, all ed, uh, uh, entries with um, equal alacrity, but obviously if they are a Gundam and two out of three of the refs don't know what the hell it is, you're onto a bit of a sticky wicket. Just saying. Um, yes, and we will have to we'll bring in a fourth person to judge any Gundams. Yeah, I mean Anamaki is right there. Yeah, he is, and I can just scream at him from you know a couple thousand kilometers away until he answers. Yeah. So now we have the third category, and considering Thrash can do an amazing, uh, very, very accurate Soviet accent, I would like you to explain the properly Smakalka category. <laughs> Smakalka. Very good, comrade. Um, I think we would like to see from all of you in the Kranu Gavin. No, I mean, literally, anything which doesn't fall into the obvious categories. Basically, this is probably something that you've made up entirely. It's a kit bash, a build of... I mean, let's say for the sake of... I mean, please don't do this. But if you decided to build the uh, version of the Defiant that Rex <laughs> came up with during our last live stream, <laughs> this sadly would be the category into which he fitted. Um, I would like to see some Micronogravins. Rex would like to see some 262 crossbred with the Defiant things. I'd like <sighs> to see must. all sorts of things, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Um, not, nothing too adult, okay? Uh, yeah, anything keep we get it PG. This. Yeah, keep it yeah. PG, man. Keep it PG. Um, but yeah, if you feel like kitbashing, other, other is your category. Or if you're just really bad like me, then enter the other category because it might not be distinguishable from a pile of plastic. Yes. Um, just, on, just on that, if you do include the spicy pinwheel of doom, uh, as so, so very fond the Germans were in 1939 to 1945 during that period, that was a bit sporting. Um, I will blur it, but I don't care if you include it, like because when I'll go through collate all the images that we get um, before the end of this, before we have a little stream and. and or one of us will, and we can just blow that out. So if you want to be accurate to history and throw on the spicy pinwheel of doom, 
then that's absolutely fine. We can blur it for YouTube. It's not that. It's not that deep. Yeah. No. Sure. And and it's worth saying, like, if you put if you put an entry in, and we think it's half decent, even if you don't win, uh, we'll absolutely make sure this winds up on socials so that uh, you can see your beautiful picture up in lights on one, yeah. if not all three of our Twitter feeds. Um, I refuse to call it by the other name. Yeah. Um, there is no name. And there is no, there is no name. name. And we, We'll just get it up so that you can see it, right? Because it's quite cool. If you put a load of bunch of effort in, we want to kind of make sure that we give you a big shout out because we are basically all giant nerds here. So if you oh. win or you don't win, you'll still get it up there, right? Yeah, there'll be a big. Yes. I think there'll be and... a fairly a fairly large uh, honourable mentions category. I think. Yeah, um, like I mean, honestly, if you just put the effort into this, frankly, uh, we, you're probably going to get an honourable mention because we want to just celebrate the fact that there are a bunch of people out there that are massive autists. Um, we we yeah. like building yeah, our plastic I, I mean, things. I, yeah. I say that while looking at a half built 1350 scale French light cruiser and a bunch of Dark Angels Warhammer minifigs. So, yeah, I'm massive currently nerds. looking at a half completed HMS Victory and I'm weeping at the prospect of ever completing that giant thing. Uh, have you got the one 100 scale one that's huge like I do that I'm trying to pretend I didn't buy because it was $500? Uh, oh no, the one that God. I got was like three or four hundred. Um, it's still pretty big. I, I I don't have the box. I've just got it kind of sitting out. My victory is about a meter long. Oh, um, mine is not really that big. Mine is not that big. Yeah, we don't talk about that. I don't have anywhere to put it. It's so big. I should probably get back onto that, to be honest. Anyway, that that's just me rambling. You know what? I might do more of that while this is going on. But, yeah, so the three categories. Vehicles. Just, it's a vehicle. As long as it moves somewhere on either something aquatic, aeronautical, or, you know, that groundy thing, hell, even a spaceship that works in vehicles, doesn't necessarily have to be not sci-fi or anything. Like, if you want to build a Star Destroyer and put it in vehicles, I'm totally cool with that, and I encourage it, because it would be funny. Um, minifigures, use your, use your thought process. If it's a figurine, if it's a person, a Dreadnought, a Gundam, whatever, that goes in there. And then you've got probably some Akalka, which is kit bashing. Make it as nuts as you want to make it, and as yeah. psycho as you want to make it. And the winners will get one of these mugs. <coughs> totally free of charge, and I will ship it to you, or Thrasher will ship it to you, or Rex will ship it to you. Probably one of the three of us, depending on who you are geographically closest to. Yes. We will get it to you. Let's leave it. You will get dorky uh, China wear. Two weeks, but you will get it. Yes, yeah. you will. The approximate, just for the character, the the approximate value of this is, is almost nothing other than prestige. Um, but we're looking forward to people giving it the best foot forward. And if you find an interesting way, bucks. yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, right. Uh, we're all I'm, here for I'm the bragging probably... rights, aren't we? Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, the bragging rights. Yeah, exactly. I haven't built a model since I was about 12, and I'm wondering whether or not a Saturn V is out of the question. Uh, it's not. I can get you some good kits if you want a good Saturn V. Yeah. I mean, how could it be, right? It's a bunch of circles. So uh, what I'm hearing yeah. is uh, a Thrasher Christmas live stream where we all laugh as he attempts to build a <laughs> Saturn V scale model. <laughs> I'll live stream with you while I build something ridiculous as well. I've got a Macabre tank that I've barely started. I can do that. Uh, was, uh, there was, do you know what? There was a Churchill, uh, Churchill Mark Seven Tamiya kit that I was I seriously looking at. I was looking at it last night, going, "I'm quite tempted by that." And it's not bonkers money. I think it's thirty-five sterlings. Um, it's a good little kit. I've got it sitting out there along with a comet. Um, I, I ran out of space in my model shelf, so it's currently sitting in my wife's um, at my wife's desk, covered around her work papers. I, but we ignore I, that. I don't think it well, I'm going to do it anyway. So look, okay, I think we've I think that's probably covered it, then you? Yes, yeah. So Christmas kit build twenty twenty four at gmail.com. It'll be in the pinned comments, it'll be on the screen, it'll be everywhere. I'll put it on Thrash's forehead if you really need me to. Uh, oh, but it will be it will be around. I'll tattoo it to him. Don't worry, he he won't he won't question it. Wait, hang on. A bunch of whiskey and play a highlight reel of the like three times England has won. <laughs> he'll completely <laughs> numb to it. <laughs> You're a dick. I love you anyway. Um. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, we look forward to judging your entrance. Yes. Uh, we will periodically remind you during the during the uh, the event. Um, and also, I will probably actually know in hindsight as well. I'm going to make a little Discord where people can talk to each other. 
Um, in case the little one who want to join this event and I will, yeah. I'll ping my server with it and I'll make you both admins in it as well. So you'll right. be able to all chat with each other. Yeah, that, sounds like, a, that sounds like a plan. Awesome. Perfect. Cool. We didn't write a script for this, can they tell? I don't think anybody could tell this wasn't scripted.